On behalf of PSG College of Technology, I take immense pleasure in welcoming our beloved managing trustee, Thiru L. Gopalakrishnan, respected principal, Dr. K. Prakashan, distinguished chief guest, Mr. Amar Babu, vice president and services operations leader, Lenovo Intelligent Devices Group, Mumbai. Our special invitees, Mr. S. Sethu Arbeit Saraj, Indian Police Service, Uttarakhand. Ms. Priya Vijaya Rajendran, Vice President, Data and AI Microsoft Corporation USA. Mr. Tanga Prabhu Pathasaradi, Product Manager, Facebook USA. Mr. Pradeep Subramanian, Innovation and Design Engineer, Amazon USA. Mr. Arun Uttumani, Senior Researcher, Human Factors at Autolive AB, Sweden. Mr. Shankar Kanna Tangaraju, International Sales Manager, uh, Audi, uh, Audi GmbH, Germany. Students Union Chairman, Mr. C. Arun, Final E. Metallurgy. All deans, all HODs, faculty members, and dear parents and loving students. I once again extend our warm welcome to you all for this orientation program. Now, may I request our beloved managing trustee through L. Gopalakrishnan to address the gathering. So, okay. Good morning, everybody. Let there be charity so others can share my family's prosperity. So, with the words said by Thiru P.S. Going to Swami Naidu almost 100 years back. Today, we have 30,000 students and 6,000 employees in our uh, PSG institutions. Our hospital is the largest hospital in this uh, district with 2,000 beds and we have 250 MBBS students and about 75 uh, postgraduate students uh, every year. PSC paramedical institutions have nursing, physiotherapy and pharmacy colleges and all uh, uh, students are accommodated in hostels on campus. This is the largest hospital and it has about 100 acres in the midst of the city. PSC College of Technology is one of the premier institutions imparting high quality education uh, in science, technology, engineering, and management under various undergraduate and postgraduate and research programs. NAR ranking has ranked us very high amongst all institutions in India. Uh, we have state of the art facilities for sports which I urge all of you to use, do not get addicted to your cell phones and laptops. Being fit now will help you in the later part of your life. There are many clubs to name a few, are Echo Club, Entrepreneur Club, Music Club, Fine Arts Club, Radio Hub and so on. We have about 25 clubs in our college. We have the best library named after Professor GRD. So use it frequently. Uh, the reason I told you, let there be charity so others can share my family's prosperity is because all these things I told you, the uh, state of the art the facilities at College of Technology, we have two engineering colleges, arts and science college, uh, hospital and all that came out of this one man's vision, let there be charity so others can share my family's prosperity. 
when you join us at college i urge you to look into all these uh, aspects of how this charity was created and how it is being taken forward so many years so have, coming to uh, the uh, subject of uh, cut off marks i wish to state one point that uh, cut off is the uh, one of the norms by the government whereas we have our own selection process in some of our courses one of our courses has a selection process with written exams and interviews we uh, have uh, found out that these students go out to make the best in life and their placements and their uh, they come up very much very well in life so similarly now you have to forget your cut off you have to start seeing how you can do well in your academic career and these four years that you spend with us make the best out of it with these few words i would like to welcome all of you and uh, i would appreciate the principal to take over and uh, further take it on thank you thank you very much sir for briefing about our esteemed institution you are the strong pillar of support to all our psc institutions thank you once again i request our uh, most respected principal psc college of technology to greet the audience respected managing trustee of psc institutions and chairman governing council of psc college of technology ಅಲುಮಿನಿಯಂ 86 <laughs> ಸಂಕರ್ಮ <laughs> the diaspora of all the eminent personalities assembled here over this event and i thank the managing trustee for all his hard work in address this meeting is arranged to welcome the freshers to the campus and make them aware of the objectives of engineering education and its role in nation building while undergoing their respective undergraduate programs in phd college of technology before i proceed i seek the blessings of the founding fathers of phd and sons charities and the founder principal dr g r damodaran for your fruitful learning in this campus we congratulate you freshers for your successful completion of higher secondary education and making entry into the portals of phd college of technology ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ <laughs> that we become autonomous and self-correcting. This is a moment of congratulations for the first partner. This is the time for reflection. Time for making start-up. Changes in lifestyle 
and time to plan for financial, economic development and breakdown. First day experiences when you joined your uh, earlier schooling, you will remember those events with a lot of joy. And as that can be a moment of pleasure at any point in time in your life. So today, you can say that you started the online learning in higher education at PSG Tech on this day. The role of technology was not so conspicuous as it is today. We just accepted technology as a phenomena happening apart from us. Today, it is an integral part of us in all aspects like breathing. During your admission process, I spoke to each one of you in the online mode. I could see the sparks in your eyes. The world is full of opportunities for the new generation who can embrace technology without any strange feelings. And at PSG College of Technology, the culture itself is to embrace new technologies in learning and learning. All the grandeur that is visible to you in the campus is the manifestation of charity of the founding fathers of PSG and Sons Charities. And it is elaborated by the respected managing trustee of our institution. This campus is founded and the college is started by the great visionary, Dr. G. R. Damodaran. He completed his engineering education in England. The major global event at that time was World War II. So you can imagine the situation when the founder principal, Dr. G. R. Damodaran, initiated this great institution at the time of all difficulties. And today we are going through a similar situation of pandemic. So there is something for us to learn from this situation. This is an autonomous institution affiliated to Anna University. And previously it was with Madras University and Bharatiya Universities. PSG College of Technology is ranked very high in the country with in the list of IITs, NITs, centrally funded institutions and universities of center and state governments. Among private institutions also we are ranked within the top one or one or two by the reputed ranking agencies. To quote some of the key achievements under the program of Technology Innovation Hub by Government of India, PSG College of Technology is the only government related college in the country. I highlight this in the country selected to be associated with IITs. We are associated with IIT Balakar in this particular mission critical program of Government of India, which demonstrates the eminence of PSG management. And this association brings in a lot of opportunities for students and faculty members to closely associate with, associate with premier institutions and learn new technologies and carry out their research. When I said it is autonomous institution, PSG College of Technology is at its liberty to frame new programs that are relevant to the society, curriculum that is rich in content, and syllabi that provides experience and assessment that is transparent and rigorous. The system is always open for checks and balances by the regulatory bodies of UGC and ACT. We follow credit system and choice based credit system and it is comparable to international standards. The programs with nomenclature of ACT, All India Council for Technical Education, are accredited by National Board of Accreditation and the entire institution is accredited by National Accreditation and Assessment Council as per UGC norms. Accreditation ensures mobility for students across nations as per Washington Accord, meaning the degree awarded by the college is acceptable on an international academic platform you will be accepted by top universities easily. Placements are taking place online and we crossed 300 plus in this season of lockdown with attractive salary packages ordering 30 lakhs per annum. The alumni present or the entire network of alumni reflect 
the inner strength of the institution by their achievements in their professional and personal lives. We invited a few of them to talk to you. There's a tutor award system in which the faculty is associated with the batch that gets admitted and continuously supports the students in solving their day-to-day -day problems. Already, tutors are identified for this batch, and some of them talk to the freshers during admission. PSG College of Technology has signed several MOUs with various universities in USA, Australia, and Europe, providing windows for our students to have exchange programs. Students are encouraged to study one semester in those universities and credits are transferred with equivalence. We have one more institution in the campus, PSG Institute of One Studies, headed by Dr. P. Radhavishnan, the former principal of PSG College of Technology. And through them also there are several programs happening in the entire world in various domains of engineering. There are several industries in the network wherein internships and placements are offered by the partnering industries. Curriculum offers flexibility and acceleration if students want it. During this period of pandemic, the college continues working with minimum disruption to academic activities, which shows the resilience of our PhD management. In fact, we got more. All these are possible by the joint support of the management represented by the trust led by the managing trustee. Current managing trustee is Sri L. Gopalanishman as introduced uh, in the beginning and he is the chairman of the governing council, the apex body leading the institution to the higher levels of excellence. And he reinforces the vision of previous managing trustees and their ideas are implemented by the successive principals, great teachers, and the administrations towards excellence. During lockdown, the management ensured that all the employees are taken care and they were empowered to work from home or in campus, obeying the norms of government, using internet and associated technologies for conducting classes and examinations so that we don't waste the time of students and they are assured of their degrees with, within time. Paucity of time makes me request you to read more on the history of PhD institutions and PhD College of Technology. And knowing history is very important in shaping us. All of us have a history of culture, civilization, technology, and humanity. Now, the transformation that happens in the campus. Our goal is to transform every one of you with professional skills, attitude, and compassion to serve the society. So we embark excellence, innovation, entrepreneurship, and sustainability in your thoughts, which are the four pillars of any successful system. And I'm sure that you will inherit these principles from the curriculum. In the current situation, online learning takes a lead and everyone has a learning space that is virtual. In a classroom, you have a seat, but now the seat is virtual and space is infinite as far as you have an internet-based ID. And we gave all the students the college email ID and with the record speed. And I think all of you are able to participate in this meeting. Even today morning, I got a message from a student. There was a mistake. Immediately, we corrected it. And I think that student is joining this meeting. You can create anything for your learning. Libraries, labs, lectures, and virtual tours of factories and laboratories of your domains of interest. And this technology is very disruptive. And systems that are brittle cannot stand it. Sufficient plasticity is to be imbibed by us in our thoughts and actions. I am sure our training in this campus will give you all the plasticity needed to face the future. We need to roll with the punches. You can read the history of India. Emperor Ashoka was born amidst fire. And enemies wanted to kill him. But he survived and the rest is the consolidation of a great nation. Similarly, this pandemic also is moving us for a different purpose. Please understand the meaning of the following terms carefully. It is my request. 
what is life it is unfoldment and development of a being under circumstances that are pushing it down what is education it is the manifestation of perfection in man manifestation means the perfection is innate and by efforts the same is to be made visible curriculum what is curriculum it is collection of activities and associated experiences that transforms a child to an adult to live in an adult society and autonomy it is robust self correction so these four terms please keep it in mind and this is what we teach you during your education in psg college of technology as spoken by the managing trustee the cut off mark is one and now you have to forget it work hard in this campus and achieve all your goals coming to the a hostel there is a great hostel life awaiting you and you will find the temptation irresistible so i will say that it is charming and has all the fun and lot of clubs students union all these are possible this time online for some time but when things return to normalcy you can enjoy the infrastructure provided by home please use email address given by the college and keep checking the updates about classes website is also very informative and instructive now gratitude i thank a big team of people consisting of deans of an academic section administration section and accounts and the dean networking dean placement and training and psg software technologies and their team they deserve a big thank you for their prompt services in setting up this meeting i wish to quote from geeta this world is for action and dexterity is in dexterity in action is called yoga by doing the duties with full involvement we become accomplished so as a student your duty is to learn rest of the things will happen with this i wish you happy days ahead good learning and good luck may god ever his choices blessings on all of you and i thank you for your time and the opportunity given to me thank you very much sir for explaining the system and functioning of our institution i am pleased to introduce our distinguished chief guest mr amar babu vice president and services operations leader lenovo intelligent devices group mumbai mr amar babu had completed his b electrical and electronics engineering from our esteemed institution psg college of technology from 1982 to 1986 and i take pride in stating that he was a winner of kurat alwar award which is the most prestigious one given by our institution he received this in 1986 as a best outgoing student among all be btech final year students later he completed his mba at xlri jamshedpur in 1989 amma's priority is to deliver high quality timely and responsive service for all of lenovo's pc smart devices and motorola customers across the world in the night he is learning business analytics through harvard's online business analytics program amar was previously the coo of lenovo asia pacific where he showed a significant growth of business across asia pacific region while streamlining business operations segment p and ls in conjunction with our regional business teams across the countries prior to this role mr amar babu was a managing director of lenovo india during which the subsidiary saw phenomenal growth in the pc market the market share grew from 8 to 19.8% in less than a decade and the company became a stronger a contender in the smartphone and tablet categories may i now request our alumnus mr amar babu to take over thank you very much man for the nice and wonderful introduction uh, 
and uh, I appreciate uh, your uh, your introduction this morning. Uh, Mr. Gopalakrishnan, Mr. Prakashan, uh, other members of the management committee, faculty members, uh, Professor Nadrajan, fellow leaders, and dear students and parents. First of all, a very, very good morning, and I hope that all of you are doing well and safe in this very, very uh, challenging time. Uh, first of all, it's an absolute honor and privilege uh, for me, especially as an alumnus, to talk to you today. Uh, this is an honor that uh, I, I, I didn't expect when I was sitting in, in your seat. Uh, but it's actually very special for me this year because I have a son who's also starting his college this year. So I can relate to all of you, you know, especially the parents out there on sending your awards uh, to this new, uh, new journey that they are stepping into. Of course, I know the, the pandemic has made this a very abnormal orientation. Uh, you know, we have to do this on video. Uh, I'm not able to see you all face to face. But, you know, like the proverbial silver lining in the cloud, it's giving me the opportunity to talk to all of you and for all your parents to be at your side on this great occasion. You know, many years ago, maybe I think it's decades ago, I guess I'm, I'm a little old now, I was sitting where you all, uh, you are, all are today, right? Uh, all starry-eyed, but of course, you know, having butterflies in my stomach. Uh, obviously, you'll be very exci excited at the start of this new circle of life you're stepping into. But then there might also be some fear, especially when you look at uh, some of the, uh, the great people that you are joining with, whether is it something that uh, you, you, are you belonging here? What, what is in store? So I just want to start off by saying that you shouldn't have the least of doubt that you are here in one of the best engineering colleges in the country. And I can vouch for that being an alumnus uh, with the course of all your hard work. And of course, the so great support of your parents and your school. Getting to PhD Tech is a wonderful, wonderful achievement. And you and your parents should feel very happy, very proud of what you have done. You've earned your seat in, in this great institution. So first of all, let me start by saying hearty congratulations. I was actually wondering you know, what, what I should say in an orientation speech. To be honest, this is the first time I'm making an orientation speech. I've spoken to uh, you know, graduating uh, uh, students uh, in convocations. But this is the first time I'm addressing a new batch. So, uh, and I also thought, what would you like to hear? So I thought the best thing I should do is actually ask my son what he would like to hear because he's in the same position that you are. And the first thing he told me was, please don't tell them to study hard because they would be hearing a lot of it from their parents and their professors as they get on. But you know what? I have to ask you to study hard. That's what you're here for. You know, if I don't tell you to study hard, maybe the management might not call me again to give me a, give a speech. That's, of course, important. But he also told me something which I thought was very nice. And I thought maybe I'll spend my time. You know, he said, how was my college life? What helped me come through these four years successfully? And so I actually thought about these those beautiful four years, some of the best time of my life. And I thought I'll share some of things, some of the experiences and what I what I'm kind of what I went through and what I uh, wish I knew when I started off. Uh, now, these years are going to be the foundation for the rest of your life. And as you heard from both the uh, principal and Mr. Gopal Krishnan, PhD Tech is going to give you all the opportunity to learn. But not just that. It's going to give you an opportunity to discover yourself, to grow as a person, to grow as an individual. The first point, right? First, obviously, learning is the most important aspect. That's that's very obvious. And I, let me be very, very clear. The professors, the teaching methodology, will make sure that you learn your subjects. They are very, very good. Trust me on that. I've, I've, I've learned from them. I've been taught by the best. Uh, and you will definitely learn your subjects. But it's also more critical to discover your passion through the process. And don't, don't limit yourself only to the subjects that are taught. In fact, I recall that in the first year of, uh, of my college, uh, I actually spent a lot of time in the library, maybe much more than many first year students did. but not on reading my subjects. Actually, I discovered a great collection of Shakespeare that the library had. And I just loved it because English was something that I really enjoyed. Of course, it didn't help in my grades for the first year, but I really enjoyed that. And, I, and, and a lot of what I've learned in even in public speaking and in English, actually, I thought laid, the foundation was laid in that, in that first year. You will like some subjects. You will not like some subjects. You know, I really didn't like electrical machines but I loved computers. You will find some that you really love and enjoy. That is the passion that might become your, your life, your focus, your motivation, right? 
those are the ones that you will go into as you study, as you research, as you go deeper, and maybe as you, as you start working, this is what will become your focus, your motivation. And computers, like computers has become for me, do discover your passion. You know, PhD Tech has wonderful professors, wonderful faculty, great infrastructure, great resources. And remember, you've earned this all the hard way. Now you have to use it, leverage all of it, and learn to do it practically with your hands. This is not just about theory. I mean, I love the late machines. I remember doing carpentry. I remember building circuit boards, right? Of course, working on the computers. It's about knowledge and it's about applying it. And I, and I read a very nice statement. Uh, scientists dream about doing things. Engineers do it. If there's one thing that this pandemic has shown us, it's actually showed us how little we understand about the world, how much there is more to be discovered, how much there is more to be learned. You know, you are just entering this stage. There is a lot that you can teach and learn for the rest of the world. Go on this exciting journey of discovery, discover your passion and discover a lot of knowledge through the learning opportunity that you have earned and PhD Tech is going to give you for the next few years. Uh, the, um, and Madam talked about my Kora Talwar Award. I mean, of course, it was, I think, not it was, I think it still is one of the proudest moments when my name was announced to get that award. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it. But more importantly, if you actually read how the award is given, it's not given to the student with the highest marks. It's actually given to the student that is well-rounded on both <clears throat> academics, extracurricular activities, and just overall as, as a student. And I think <clears throat> that is the other side of discovery that I will really encourage you. Discover yourself beyond subjects. You know, college is just a beautiful period. All the clubs that were talked about, the sports facilities, the activities, for those of you that will be part, passed out, part of hostel life, these are things that will allow you to discover yourself as a person. These, there will be skills that you will learn here. In fact, I, I, I was part of the debating team for PhD Tech, and I think a lot of public speaking skills that I've learned, which have immensely helped me in my in my job, in my sales roles, in my in the various roles that I've done across various companies, actually was learned or the foundation was laid uh, from that uh, from that time that I spent in that club. You know, these four years are the best to discover yourself in an in, in a in a very very safe way. PhD Tech will give you the opportunity. You have to leverage it and make it happen. But you know what makes this one of the most beautiful periods of my life is actually the friendships that I made. You're gonna make many lifelong friendships here. You know, there's a lot of visits that you're gonna to do to NMB, NM Bakery, all the juices at the Palamudir Chole that is right opposite the college. I know I've slept in the computer lab when my project mates were working very hard. These are memories and relationships that are gonna be with you for life. These are friends who know you for what you are today. And that's very important, by the way. They will love you because of who you are as a person, not because what they think you will become or not what you become, you know, excuse me, this needs some water. You know, these are the, the Podawara friends who will continue to keep you humble, continue to give you, keep you grounded when each of you grow to be the biggest shot, in, biggest hot shot in life, biggest hot shot in the industry. You know, they, they are the ones that are really going to be with you. And of course, the, the, the professors are going to be teachers for the rest of your life. You know, I, I also want to add something and maybe maybe parents and professors don't listen to this, this sentence or ignore what I'm saying. You know, if you're lucky, you might even find your better half. Uh, you might find your, your spouse for life. Uh, that also is something that is quite possible. You know, PhD Tech, of course, gave me a lot of learning, but it didn't give me my, my wife. That, that privilege goes to my postgraduate institute. Remember, most importantly, you are entering college life as a teenager, but you're going to walk out an adult, a mature adult. And this is the foundational or the grounding years that's going to determine who you are and how you are. And your friends are going to be an important part uh, of making that happen. Finally, actually, it's also very important to stay humble, stay grounded. You know, your parents, your family, and of course, your friends are the constants in your life. And, and I can tell you after all these years that it, it makes such a big difference. They are the pillars. They remember you also uh, are, are here because of their hard work and always stay humble. 
you should give back to society in whatever way you feel like right be curious always be eager to learn you know you should have the humility that you will never learn everything phd is going to teach you a lot but most importantly what i learned from phd was the ability to learn learning has to be lifelong this is just the start this is just the beginning college is college life is very different from school life and you will see it sooner or later but the way you learn today the way you apply your learning the way you translate subjects to knowledge is something that you're going to pick up and you're going to be with you for the rest of your life i mean you heard that uh, I, i'm actually i just finished the harvard uh, business analytics course because at this stage of my life i realized that that's something that i don't know and i tell you i really enjoyed it and i learned so much uh, learning has to be lifelong and make sure that you learn how to learn you know before i i close uh, i just want to say a few words to the parents you are you should all be very very proud uh, my parents were very proud when i entered college uh, at psg uh, but remember your child is becoming an adult they are moving from school to college right uh, you know my son has has gone to university in uk and i can tell you that the way they treat uh children there are really as adults they treat them as adults in fact if i need to know about my son's grades i need to get his permission uh, because they treat them as adults uh because they believe that they can and i think children grow and they grow very very fast of course it's not easy and i'm i'm personally myself still learning how to let go uh, of my child you have to let go of your child they are far more ready than you think they, you are they are you know that we all think they are of course we all need to support them be there to support them but let them go and you will see them fly uh, make sure that you are you are supporting them but give them the freedom finally you know this gives me an opportunity to thank all the professors uh, i know many of the professors that have taught me uh, may not be in the institute today but you know i i i i heard professor radha krishnan and there are many of you who who made me what i am professor nadrajan you were one of my teachers um, your teaching Uh, has been the hallmark of thousands and thousands of success stories of students and i am proud uh, to be able to represent the institute today you know whenever i get to pilamedo i do travel to coimbatore from time to time i still have family uh, i do get to nmb i i you know i need to have the bread butter the sweeter food biscuit the even sweeter tengai bun get to take canteen um i'm still very proud to see my name on the board of the kurathalwa awardees you know I, i constantly relive some of the best memories of my life um, these, are, these are memories for a lifetime and that's what life is about you know you're going to build those memories that you will cherish forever uh, and it is something that you should really really look forward to you know in in closing uh, i would say two messages discover discover learning discover yourself discover your friends build those memories that you're going to build your your life on but also dream big you know don't don't let this pandemic or this starting of this uh, the session which is very different with uh, uh, you know video based classes video based orientation stop you you know dream big in fact i never thought when sitting where you are today that i'll be asked to do the speech it's a dream i never had yeah i didn't dream big enough but don't let this pandemic stop you as i said if there's one thing this pandemic is showing us it is how much we adults don't know how much is left to be discovered and how much all of you are going to discover for for this world chase your dreams and as you grow into an adult learn to stand firmly on your feet but don't be afraid to reach for the skies here's wishing you all success happiness may god bless you with everything in life thank you very much to to the psg uh, management the faculty uh, and professor nadrajan for giving me this opportunity it's truly an honor and once again students enjoy this best period of your life thank you thank you very much sir for being a testimony of psg tech's academic excellence and inspiring the young minds to discover themselves thank you again i am glad to introduce our special invitee who is none other than our alumnus station program mr s sendil avadai krishna raj indian police service uttarakhand had completed his b electrical and electronics engineering from psg college of technology in 
He completed his master's degree in police management in 2009 from Osmania University. He is currently doing his postgraduate diploma in information security from IGNO. He cracked his civil services exams in 2007 and joined Indian Police Service at Uttarakhand. Later, he worked at Project Executive Crompton Greaves Limited and at Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited from January 1998 to August 2007 as senior maintenance engineer. Now, I request Mr. Sendal Avdai Krishnaraj to address the gathering. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Mr. Sindhil Avadega, sir. Please unmute yourself, sir. We are not able to hear your voice. Please unmute yourself, sir. In the WebEx uh, tool, you should be able to unmute yourself, sir. You are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Sorry, then I have to start from the beginning. Uh, respected Managing Trustee, Respected uh, Principal, uh, Dr. R. Uh, Narajan, sir. Good morning, and uh, dear, dear students and uh, proud parents, first of all, congratulations to all of you for joining this wonderful institution, which had made wonder in life of many students. I'm just one of them. And PSG has got a proud list of alumni who have joined and served the nation and also the, the mankind in total and who have made the flag of PSG fly very high. Today, as I'm addressing you all through this video conferencing, my memory goes down to August 1, 1991, when I was also a student, just like you, sitting and listening to my principal, when he told that discipline is important for us. Because the <clears throat> basic principle which PSU Tech believes is that if you are disciplined, everything else will be in under your way. 
that is the effect which i am seeing today since phd helped me to have a disciplined life over the during the four years of college which is very important for shaping our career that has led to the development of my life now i remember the italian sculptor michelangelo when he was asked how do you make such wonderful sculptures he just told that the sculpture is already inside the stone my job is to just to extract it the same way phd knows what is the best inside you and it helps to extract that out of you i was a normal student who was apprehensive of speaking in public speaking in english from a government aided school from other even though i am from urban background but by the conference level when i entered phd was very low but over the period of 4 years the journey which they took me i had the opportunity to be in ncc and i served as a sergeant i was the secretary, joint secretary of phd tech hostels under the able guidance of dr narajan sir and i was secretary of the engineering association and that gave an immense confidence of public speaking dealing with people that even today i find it very relevant for me to develop so now i understand how your transformation within the four years that has helped me to improve myself like i would in short i will say to you give phd tech the four the four years they will give back you 40 plus years these four years if you give yourself to phd tech hand it over to them and as per the guidance if you perform the next 40 plus years it will be yours and i assure you that this is a college which in four years make you capable of facing any challenge that may come up in your life in your future career so through this conference i wish you all the best and as the chief guest mr amar baba has told it will be a very memorable event in your life even if i am asked in my life given option that if i can relive some portion of a life again i would like to have that phd tech as a reliving option in my career because i can never forget that development and the transformation which i had undergone when i was in phd tech so i wish you all the best and i i, I am sure that you'll be having a very enjoyable career and uh, soon you'll be making the colors of phd black more brighter by your service to the nation and by your service to the mankind and i thank the management managing trustee principal and dr narajan sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity and share my thoughts on this wonderful occasion of the orientation of the freshers thank you sir thank you thank you sir for highlighting the importance of discipline to reach the pinnacle of success thank you again our next special invitee is ms priya vijaya rajendran vice president data and ai microsoft corporation ms priya completed her b.e computer science and engineering from psg college of technology in 1997 She was an all-rounder during her time at PSG Tech, contributing to NSS dramatics and hostel activities, and hence was a recipient of several accolades. She also has a Master's of Science in Software Systems from Bits Pilani, India. Ms. Priya has over 23 years of experience in enterprise product development. earlier she had been the cto at, uh, and vp for applied ai at ibm services and former head of innovation at sap and head of sap ha na strategic customer engagements organization currently as a vice president for microsoft worldwide data and ai business priya is responsible for driving the end to end business sales partner and go to market strategy and product leader, leadership across a worldwide commercial business for microsoft's azure data and sql server products now i request ms priya to say a few words thank you ma'am and uh, it's an absolute honor and a pleasure to be able to talk to all of you so before i get started uh thank you to dear trustee principal and beloved nadrajan sir and all the faculty for having me today 
27 years ago, uh, as ma'am said, I'm a proud alumni from 93-97 computer science batch. I was one of the many exciting, excited computer science student who was just sitting there like all of you. Not just the way you are sitting with your parents, but pretty much sharing that uh, space with all of my friends who started the journey together with me. It's truly a pleasure to be able to talk to you all today. If you made it to PSG Tech, then you must have done many things right in your first 17 years. So first of all, hard yes, congratulations. You are at the best place to start your academic journey. Um, the speakers who spoke before me, uh, Amar and Sindhu, they pretty much spoke my mind. Uh, you know, this is the best place for us to for uh, for you all to grow and nurture and get started on your academic journey. Importantly, regardless of whichever walks of life you all come from, from here on, everything is at your reach. So Sendhil talked about the background he came from, and many of you could see that I I um, I, I grew up in South as well, and uh, you know I'm a woman in technology uh, right now, uh, going places. I lived in several parts of Europe, now settled in America, and uh, Amar grew up uh, almost seven years before us and started on a journey. So importantly, regardless of where we all started. From now on, everything is at your reach. And like I said, I'm a good example. And I've known many of my friends who have done spectacular things in life and in career with what we learned as a great foundation from PhD Tech. So the next four years or five years, hopefully not longer for all of you, make the best out of it. Yeah. So long after college, I realized that it's not just about gaining academic competency. I mean, most of them talked about it already. Those things when you spend time figuring out things, when your professors are, uh, you know, what you get on the lab about doing a project, how you figure things out, uh, either individually or working in teams, your organizational skills, your people management skills, your ability to get through things, your tenacity, your perseverance, it all counts. That's what this college is going to shape you. Amar said it beautifully as a way of discovering yourself, right? I have to completely give credit to our colleges and to our professors who've become my lifelong mentors actually is to remain curious learn all the time right which is also the reason that why uh, when Arjun said pinged me i i'm here talking to you all i selfishly want to see the world just the way each of you are going to see it a world full of opportunities and possibilities and by doing that my goal today is hopefully that many of you can see the world just full of possibility through my eyes too. Nothing inspirational here. I'm just underscoring the point that every one of us can do it, whatever we dream or want to do it. These years in college allow you allows you going to be unconstrained in your thinking. You don't have any boundaries. You don't have any constraints. You're not fitting into a job at this point in time. So here is where many of you could become entrepreneurial, visionaries, geeks are the best computer scientists the world is awaiting to work with. So as I move to USA, one thing which I observed is a big difference is the applied aspect of education. When you apply your passion or your interest, it could be anything. Some of you are very passionate about creating an app. It could be a gaming app, right? Or solving a health crisis, which right all of us are in the middle of, right? Or hacking a financial system or helping something even in the college. And based on what you learn in your subjects in college or self learn, because, you know, please don't expect everything to be part of your curriculum. Self learn to solve things around you. You pretty much are going to educate yourself world class. This is what the world aspires to. Technology has made this possible and opportunities are available to all of you to be the best. This is how even today I create or plan for my career. I always looked for what can I learn, what inspires me to do things, and where can I get for help? And as I'm talking to many of you, and um, I've never constrained myself to just on the educational aspects of things, I've, I've spread myself into clubs and uh, talking to people and uh, volunteering myself as part of the community. So that's how I had a very rewarding college life. And when I talk to young students such as yourself, 
uh, one of the most uh, asked questions is, uh, how do I go about it? You know, can you tell me what all you have done? So there is no recipe or checklist for this. And certainly please know that the workplace or the social economy that when you all come out of college is going to be changing at a pace that none of us could even plan or imagine. So the best guidance I can give is develop your critical thinking, problem solving, develop yourself in such a way that you are the best version of yourself. Check out today yourself and in four years, you should be the best of you. This is what companies look for. You know, when you're thinking about how are you going to shape yourself after four years? For example, when I look for fresh talent, I always seek someone with a point of view. There are no right or wrong answers. Many times we are petrified in thinking, how well should I prepare? What are my grades going to be? You know, there are no right or wrong answers. You believing in your approach with conviction and your ability to prove it empirically is pretty much what math and science taught us, right? So be you, because there will be no one else. <laughs> you will never be anyone else version. Who knows when Microsoft is coming to look for fresh years in four years, I might see many of you. So get ready. Yeah. Of course, I did not join you all just to talk about what a fantastic career outlook and an academic journey you all have. So all work and no play fun is no good. So uh, especially in the college, so make it as a most thriving place for all of you have lots of fun. Now, Rajan sir um, always teases me for um, actually having such a great time in our hostel life and as well as uh, I have very fond memories from my friends as well. So as, as my colleagues and the alumnus talked about, make lifelong friends because this is the best place for breeding great ideas. Um, you have a great support system. You have fantastic lab facilities and your professors are not just professors, they are Honestly, your coaches actually so make memories and make them count because they're going to stay with us all forever. And uh, I really want to thank the opportunity for having me today and uh, hopefully my journey is being inspiring and I am absolutely thrilled and inspired by many of you. And again, congratulations for making it to PSG Tech. It is the best place to get started and uh, many of us can proudly attest to this. It's an absolute honor and a pleasure talking to all of you. The world is ready for every single one of you. So get going. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, Thank you. for transformational speech. Our next special invitee is Mr. Ranga Prabhu Pathasaradi, Product Manager at Facebook. Mr. Ranga Prabhu Pathasaradi completed his B Electronics and Communication Engineering at PSG Tech in the year 2000. Additionally, he has a Master's in Electrical Engineering from Virginia Tech. He is currently a Product Manager at Facebook and recently shipped Oculus Quest 2, a VR headset. Prior to Facebook, for eight years at Amazon, building many products initially as an engineering manager and later as a product manager. He was a product manager for Eco Dot, Eco and other Alexa products. Now I invite Mr. Ranga Prabhu to address the audience. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks, PSG organization, for having me today. It is, it is an incredible honor. Um, coincidentally, this is 20 years since I left college, and, uh, and I can tell you very honestly, this has been, uh, I still think of every single day of my PSG tech career, uh, of my PGT, PSG tech life as the best four years of my life. Um, some of my, my closest friends are my friends from PSG tech. Uh, when when Natarajan sir asked me if I would like to talk to you, the first thing I did was share that information with my PSG Tech friends. Uh, so the, the, I had a bunch of things I wanted to tell all of you, and then uh, the previous speakers did such a wonderful job telling it. Um, I am I'm probably going to take a little bit of a detour from where I was thinking I was going to talk. Uh, so here's the thing: your next four years are going to be the the most enjoyable years in your life. Because this is this is the transition period between you having no responsibilities in life uh, to you transitioning to a part where you you develop all the, all the responsibilities. You start having an income. You start taking care of families. Uh, there's a lot to come in your life. So these four years are going to be that that period where you learn and and you become uh, the person you want to be. 
And and PC Tech helped me a lot. And I'm just going to share some of the things that has happened to me uh, as a result. Uh, one of the things I did was, as I said, I made a lot of friends. And I encourage all of you to reach out and make friends. Um, the the other thing I, I did at PSG Tech was I did everything. Uh, I I was the secretary of ELS. I, ELS is English Literary Society, one of the clubs that used to used to exist back then. I don't know if it's still ELS or there are new clubs in its in its name. Uh, ELS was an opportunity for me to participate in debates. Uh, I developed my stage skills. Uh, I learned to speak in front of a thousand people. Today, if I'm talking to all of you, and I am I'm confident I don't have to prepare. It's primarily because of the skills I learned at PSG Tech. Um, I used to go and compare shows at PSG Tech. I used to go to uh, some of our rival colleges like CIT, uh, which you'll learn uh, once you get back to college. Um, I used to go to CIT and was a fairly hostile audience, and I used to go and talk in front of them. And all of these kinds of skills you can develop without any constraints when you are a member of an institution like PSG. Uh, I spend a lot of time in the library. I know it's, it's, a, it's an odd thing to say, spend a lot of time in the library. Initially, it kind of feels like the wrong thing to do, uh, but once you get a hang of it, the PSG Tech Library is just a wonderful place. Um, I, in addition to being a very core member of ELS, I was uh, I was a member of many other clubs, which helped me evolve as a person. I used to be part of the drawing and painting club. I used to participate in the astronomy club. Uh, I used to help out dramatics. And the idea behind all these clubs is it develops the person that you are. And I mean, I, I never have to talk about the education you'd get at PSG Tech because the professors do such a remarkable job. But beyond just the education, you're going to learn how to do things in life. You're going to learn public speaking. You're going to learn how to interview better. You're going to learn how to uh, write better. Many, many opportunities in college for you to develop that. One of the other things I, I would say is broadly, try to go outside your comfort zone. If you're somebody who who's uncomfortable being in front of people, sign up to join and do dancing in front of people. You know what? Not everybody is a great dancer. It's OK to be bad at it. Uh, the college is a place where you can be bad and then laugh it away. Um, I, I would also say help other people. One of the things I would I am most proud of is as part of ELS, uh, we brought something called interview techniques into our college where what we did was for students who were not comfortable um, and uh, were not prepared for interviews, uh, starting in the second year and third year, we would actually coach people, coach my friends, many of them who would come from um, rural districts who had uh, difficulty at that time talking in front of other people. We coached our friends because there is nothing that gives you more pride than seeing your friends succeed. So th there is a lot that PSG Tech is going to allow you to do and open yourself up to all these things. Today, I'm a very successful person. I am uh, I'm able to do the kinds of things I do. And I would safely tell you all of this is because of the education, uh, not just in terms of you know, technology and subjects, but the education of how to be a good person, how to be a, a, mem a good member of the society that I learned at PSG Tech. The last thing I did want to say, uh, going back to what Amar said earlier, I the other thing that I, I'm very proud of is I met my wife at PSG Tech, and um, and uh, we are both very proud alumnus of this college. Every time we are in, I'm a native of Coimbatore, so every time I'm in city, I'm in the city, uh, I make it a point to visit the college because it's home. So um, congratulations to all of you for having made it this far to enter PSG Tech, which is a remarkable institution. Uh, now it is left to you to make the most of it, and and uh, you're in very, very good hands. Uh, congratulations once more, and good luck. Thank you, sir, for sharing your ELS and other clubs experience that you had during your stay at PSG. Now, the next special invitee is Mr. Pradeep Subramanian, Innovation and Design Engineer, Amazon. Mr. Pradeep graduated from the Production Engineering Sandwich course at PSG College of Technology in 2012. He was a recipient of the Best All-Rounder Award for his achievements in curricular and extracurricular activities in his program. During his graduate studies at Texas, 
A and M University. He was among the top five recipients of Raymond's Ideas Award for innovative startup ideas. Pradeep is working in Amazon at Seattle as an innovation and design engineer, creating novel automation concepts, adding value to customers' online shopping experience. Before working at Amazon, he also worked at TVS Motors Hozur R&D division and at Tesla Motors California as project manager, successfully handling multi-million dollars worth supply chain projects. He aims to be a multifaceted personality with a passion for changing ideas into products. I'm glad to invite Mr. Pradeep to utter a few words. Over to you, sir. Um, hello, guys. Uh, uh, respected principal, the trustees, and all the dignitaries here. I hope you guys can hear me. It's a great honor uh, to be speaking with you guys. Uh, it's like I'm sp I'm speaking from near New York, and you can see like other alumnus are also speaking from USA and other parts of the world. It's like night one thirty a.m. for me, but uh, for others too. But it shows the amount of love that we have for this institution. Uh, this type of love is very difficult to get unless you get something from the institution. Uh, so I want to say uh, first thank all my faculty members, especially Dr. Prakash and who was my teacher uh, for finite element analysis. Uh, and it was my undergraduate PhD type. Uh, so all the speakers before me, they spoke really well and they kind of covered all the points. Uh, I was just thinking like, okay, what what should I speak about? So what I was thinking is like, when I, I was there at PhD Tech on August 6, 2007, what would have been some good advice if somebody had told me that would really help me to uh, kind of uh, help me in like getting to know PhD Tech better uh, or like a career advice that will help me. So I just kind of jotted down some points which I'd like to share with you guys. Um, so I have like eight points that I want to share because a lot of advice, I just want to number them. Uh, so it's easy for you guys to remember in case you like it. Uh, I would like to start with the first one. Uh, I always believe that you should ask yourself if you are doing the best with what is available. Um, many a times I feel that we get complacent with um, whatever we see around, like for example, when you see an industry with old machineries, we think, hey, these are old machineries. Uh, I wanna learn something new, like, uh, but old is the best place to start with, right? Like you have to go there, you need to see whether I understand all this uh, technology that has been evolving over the years and how can I apply this for the next gen technology? So always ask yourself, are you the best version? Is this the best you can really do? Uh, are, are you doing the best with what that is available? I would like to put an analogy here. It's like going to a restaurant and then ordering food. You have an entire menu in front of you. You can order whatever you want. Like it's just, it's up to you to order what you want and what you want to eat and how much effort you want to put in the whole process, right? So always ask yourself, are you doing the best? And then uh, the second point that I wanted to uh, bring was think big. Uh, I think uh, Priya Madam covered this before. Uh, I wanted to emphasize on saying that avoid being penny wise and then like pound foolish. Like don't focus on small, small things and waste your energy there instead of worrying about the bigger picture and achieving greater things in your life. A simple example is instead of worrying about the internal test marks that you're gonna have, always think while learning, like how am I gonna kind of uh, uh, apply this in the industry? Like I'm learning a concept. How, I, how, this, how does this concept relate to the industry today? How is gonna change for tomorrow? How was this yesterday? So that you get a complete overview of uh, what you're learning and how it is applied. And then the third point that I wanted to say is like develop hobbies. Uh, mental health is very important to kind of maintain your peace of mind. Uh, what, whether you're successful or not always depends on what you measure, right? So I, I believe that you shouldn't seek happiness. Instead, happiness should be a byproduct of whatever you do. You, you, you put painstakingly effort to do something nice. And when you do it really well, that's when you get uh, happiness. So always try to develop some hobbies. It keeps you like uh, connect with new people. PSG Tech has a lot of great clubs. I was a part of Dramatics Club, Cap and Nature Club, Road Track Club. And then I was also involved in organizing some of these conferences and all these things. So it also helps in uh, your social life. So definitely develop some hobbies. Uh, and then the next point I wanted to like kind of emphasize on develop communication and negotiation skills. These are really important. 
your thought process must be communicated very clearly to the person who is sitting in front of you. Only then uh, your ideas kind of reach to the other person. So the only way to kind of escape competition, like you see so many people around other colleges, other, other students, so many engineering students. So the way if you think, hey, how do I prove myself to be the best is by being yourself. Like nobody can be exactly same as you. So develop communication skills, develop negotiation skills, and then uh, develop authenticity and originality by trying to work on stuff. Uh, and then the next one I wanted to touch upon was like avoid social cohesion. Like uh, say you want to do a particular project very badly and just because a group of friends says, hey, come on, uh, let's go out and have fun. Let's not do this. Don't do that uh, because uh, make sure that your friend circle, you motivate your friend circle and your friend circle motivate you so that everybody grows uh, together, right? So uh, avoid social cohesion. Um, and then the next one I wanted to touch upon was experiment and fail fast. This is the time to experiment. Like these four years or five years, depending on what of course you are in, are the time to experiment. The world kind of says you shouldn't fail, but uh, the cost of failure is not as much as you think. Now is the time to experiment and fail. Like as um, uh, Rangaprabhu Parthasarathy said, like you, like you need to kind of explore yourself and find like what you are able to do the best. Now is the time to fail if you want to really fail. Yeah. And then uh, the next one I wanted to touch upon was focus on compounding effect. Uh, I think uh, somebody said like a compound. Uh, interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Like compounding means like uh, it keeps on growing day by day. So focus on friendships, like those friends who will stay with you forever in your life from now on. Like every day you become closer and closer and closer and then they become a part of your life. Even today I play IPL Fantasy League with my PSG tech friends every day in the morning. And then uh, focus on like networking. Compounding helps a lot in networking. Reach out to your alumni network. They are always there to help you and guide you. And then focus on good habits uh, as they compound, they give you like immense benefits. Always think long term, don't think anything in um, short term and always uh, go behind high standards. Like don't consume junk, uh, consume like uh, good entertainment, good books and good stuff that keeps your mind occupied. Um, and then I want to kind of uh, finish uh, by touching upon saying that uh, we always hear people saying that, hey, the future, the future is going to be bright. We are going to have all these technologies in the future. But what I've observed is the future is here. Today, we have electric cars. We have self-driving cars. I worked in an electric car company. I worked in a company that does indoor vertical farming where we grow plants without the plants don't even see the sun. And then uh, we are having 3D printing. My friends, like PSG Tech friends are working in Airbus, like doing all this 3D printing. And then we have drone delivery. We have uh, all these amazing stuff here today. So it's only a matter of scaling up. So always make sure that you are prepared for the future. The world is open. You have all these internet. I mean, you have all these great resources at PSG Tech, the library, all these labs that's going to help you to prepare for future. So don't miss that opportunity. Uh, I just want to conclude by saying that uh, five years ago, my brother, uh, he, I, I, I specifically told him to go to PSG Tech, uh, and then uh, he asked why. I told that the journey uh, that you have at PSG Tech is going to be the reward. It's not the degree that you get, it's the journey that you're going to have for the next four or five years. So always uh, look in that way. All the best to all the students and also congratulations to every one of them. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for guiding the younger generation to balance both professional and personal life. Now, our next special invitee is Mr. Arun Mutumani, senior researcher, human factors at AudioLev, AB Sweden. Mr. Arun completed his BE in production engineering from PSG College of Technology in 2007. He completed his Master of Design, MDES, degree from Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur in 2009, and also holds an MSc degree in human factors from Logborough University, UK. An autolive AB, Mr. Arun Mutumani leads research projects on human machine interactions in advanced driver assisted systems. He has more than 10 years of experience in leading new product development projects. He has led a team of designers, uh, ergonomic engineers, to achieve exceptional product solutions. 
Now I request Mr. Arun to address the audience. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, I think college is a place that actually fosters environment of curiosity and exploration, especially for the students, as stated by one of the professors from the Colombian University. So uh, respected luminaries, uh, managing trustee, beloved principal, uh, faculty members, and uh, alumni and parents, and dear students, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it's around 6.30 a.m. I live in Sweden, and I hope I don't shout much so that my little one doesn't wake up crying. So I make sure that I don't do that. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate all the new students for uh, securing a place at one of the prestigious educational institutions in the country. Uh, generally, uh, in a conventional uh, orientation program, many students have a lot of questions, you know, like what kind of, uh, uh, what will be the college and what kind of inputs, what kind of faculties. But in the ongoing global pandemic, I'm sure that there will be like more additional questions uh, to your list. Uh, so today I would like to talk upon some of the few things before I start to share my experience at PSG Tech. Uh, the first and foremost is the adaptation, which is uh, one of the key word at the moment. So the global pandemic have uh, created a very significant impact on the education sectors, as we could all witness that. So the lockdown has uh, created a, a global interruption to the conventional learning worldwide. But however, it opened up an enormous opportunities, as most of the uh, alumni are actually shared. At this time, I would like to recall the famous quote from the uh, Albert Einstein, where he mentioned that the, in the middle of the every difficulty lies a beautiful opportunity. Of course, the pandemic has actually coerced the education sectors to adapt to the digitization and also to think beyond classroom teaching what's happening now. So the new normal uh, actually even made all the instructors and faculty members to train themselves and put them a lot of extraordinary efforts to adapt to this new teaching model. And when it comes to the college life, the foremost thing what we learn is actually the fundamentals. Uh, as I could also uh, witness from the growing trend in the European market where I could see there is an emergence of new brand engineering discipline that's more going to be like data driven and also like computationally intensive and biologically inspired and human centric, which is already in place. So if you are an engineer to cope with such a mercurial environment, probably you need to uh, strengthen your uh, practical skills besides the theoretical knowledge what you get from the college. So the next four to five years of your life uh, where you will have an exposure of a broad base of fundamental knowledge and also an exposure to a lot of comprehensive skill sets and also like an engineer, engineering applications in practice. As all of you are going to be like tomorrow's engineers, the fundamentals are very pivotal to handle the real world problem. So I would really uh, encourage you all of you to start paying more attention to the fundamentals and try to enhance those kind of skill sets. And coming to the next important thing is the exploration. You know, the college life is something it's really as uh, one of our elements mentioned about the self discovery. So it's college life is the one where you try to learn to identify your personal strengths and also the weakness and the challenges what you're going to face. Always do have a motivation to explore new ideas. Do participate in multidisciplinary projects, engage in a lot of club related activities. Uh, I do know that with the growing complexity of uh, engineering challenges, uh, today's engineers will be, uh, ex are expected to be uh, good at cross disciplinary knowledge with technical competencies and also with additional skill sets. So, uh, and finding a right time uh, is very crucial and also the right place is very important for an in individual success. And PSG is a place of knowledge and bliss, and it's with well-equipped infrastructure and facilities, and, and also the exposure to the various platforms. I'm sure that each one of you uh, will be able to accomplish all your dreams and future endeavors uh, in the first place. So moving on to my last talk, as many of my alumni actually talked about their experiences, probably even I also had an interesting experiences when I was at PSG. So the time we spend in college are very special, isn't it? Uh, the college uh, experiences has enriched many people's lives, including mine. Uh, there was a very special moment happened to me uh, when I was uh, actually during my college days at PSG Tech. So that actually shaped my career for the rest of my life. Uh, so as a student, I was quite uh, uh, 
passionate about exploring the creative design skills uh, besides engineering. Uh, so I actually participated in a lot of extracurricular activities uh, to enhance my creative skills. Uh, and at PSG, I actually served as a secretary of the DAP club. It's basically the drawing and painting club for nearly two years. Uh, besides that, I was also like heavily involved in all the dramatic club activities. Uh, I think it was uh, during my pre-final year, uh, we had a lecture session from our respected principal, Dr. Prakasan sir. Uh, so to, during which he actually mentioned about, uh, you know, the importance of creative design skill sets possessed by the designers, artists, and graphic designers. And he also highlighted, uh, you know, the significance of uh, having a creative design in the product development processes. Subsequently, he just asked a question uh, that if there is anyone in our class who has such similar skills and who is really interested to explore the creative design project on working on product design and styling. So without any second thought, I just raised my hand and I just started showcasing my interest. From that uh, decision of mine actually led to a very big change in my professional career. Uh, so, because of that decision, I managed to do uh, uh, pursue my master's in industrial design. After that, I started uh, working as a senior uh, senior designer in most of the uh, uh, OEMs uh, currently. And also, like I had an experience of engaging or working on the different design projects, working with the different design studios, especially Porsche Design Studio in Austria and maybe many other teams as well. Uh, so, fortunately. Uh, when I actually had an exposure of the design at the PSG Tech and it was the right time, which actually the right place, it happened to me at the right time. Uh, so finding the right place at right time and also meeting the right people is very essential in human life. And it happened to me and I wish uh, the same happens for each one of you as well. Uh, but I think finally, I would like to uh, thank uh, Dr. Prof uh, Dr. Prakasan sir for this a uh, wonderful opportunity to be a part of this orientation program. And I wish each one of you a great success in life and good luck and thank you. Thank you, sir, for motivating our freshers to explore as much as they could in order to enhance their technical and professional skills. Now to our next uh, special uh, invitee, Mr. Shankar Nathangaraju, International Sales Manager, Audivo GmbH, Schwarzenfeld, Germany. Mr. Shankar Khanna completed his Bachelor of Technology in Biotechnology at PSG in 2014. He also has a Master of Business Administration from Sciences Hof, Germany. Previously, Mr. Shankar worked as a sales operations coordinator deputed by Dowency Engineering LG Vehicle Solutions, Salzbach, Germany, and as Salz Associate at Unchained Labs, Germany. His master's thesis title was Bioenergy from Rice Waste in India. He has won GIMS Award 2015 for excellent academic performance. He was a recipient of Bavarian Ministry of Science, Research and Arts Scholarship for excellent academic performance and was a recipient of DAAD Fellowship for outstanding academic performance. He is currently holding the post of International Sales Manager at Audivo uh, GmbH, Germany. I'm glad to invite Mr. Shankar to say a few words. Uh, vielen Dank für die nette Vorschläge, Frau Do Dr. S. Kumar. Uh, so, it's, I, I thank Ms. Uh, Kumar in German because she's also a German teacher for PhD Tech. And I'd like to thank uh, the PhD trustee uh, and uh, the, the management uh, and uh, biotech department principal, everyone, for giving this opportunity uh, to talk to the freshers here. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's uh, as uh, previous uh, speaker mentioned. It, it was a coincidence. So ten years ago, I was exactly the same uh, place where you are. Uh, I had a mixed feelings. How the next four years is gonna be? The next for, for some of you, it will be next five years. So uh, trust me, guys. It's gonna be the best uh, moments of your life. So every single day, you'll have uh, good memories. And I still remember the days uh, we used to. Whenever you're in Coimbatore, 
when you're going through Avinash Road and you see this bridge, you'll have you'll have a very good feeling. Oh, this is the place I belong. So that's what I, I usually have every time I go through this bridge or go through Avinash Road. And so, uh, and uh, as Mr. Amar Babu said, uh, NMB Bakery. So that's been there for generations. I'd see who are the alumni you would uh, come across. They would say, oh, have you been to NMB Bakery? Have you had this uh, chats you with your friends? So this is what uh, these wonderful moments is about. Is all about uh, that's, that we are going to talk about. And uh, so don't worry, guys. So you are in safe hands now. You've made your hard work. You've reached uh, PhD. And uh, in my personal experience, I did uh, my bachelor's with PhD tech, and also my master's. It was a uh, exchange program from PhD. So I, I spent six months in PhD IM and uh, one and a half years in Germany. So uh, I, I I had two degrees from PhD through PhD. So uh, I I really felt I'm really happy that uh, I could do I could I had the opportunity to study through PhD, and uh, the teachers they were like so so advanced the teaching methods are so advanced that I didn't feel any differences that the way of teaching in uh, India or in Germany was uh, completely in different worlds. So they were all same. And uh, so we had a very good experience and the teachers were very experienced and uh, handling new technologies. And uh, with current situation in Corona, I guess you guys will also be uh, given all the facilities that you need from the university or from the college. And uh, yeah, so there's all kind of uh, environments provided to you to enhance your knowledge and enhance your uh, uh, skills here. So as uh, as previous um, alumni speakers mentioned that uh, they were also involved in clubs, and I was also uh, part of um, uh, e-club, and uh, I was also secretary of uh, biotech department, um, and I was a uh, placement representative where I got to uh, work with uh, Dr. Narajan sir. He is very nice and uh, he is very caring, and he make uh, you know when you are in placement, you have, as a representative, you would have a feel that. Uh, you spend three to four years of or five years in some cases uh, uh, with your friends and classmates. So it's your duty that you have to make them uh, get placed in companies. They have to get good job and with uh, they have dreams of getting a job. Getting into PhD means getting a good job. So that's what people think about. So uh, it's a, it's a huge responsibility given to you. So uh, so there is you learn to how to manage a lot of things, manage time uh how to organize stuff all these things i've learned through these responsibilities which i uh had through PSG. and uh we were uh we were organizing events and uh, uh also uh through e club uh, through the global leaders forum and dominatory society uh english literary societies so all these clubs give, give you a wide range of uh, opportunities to explore your skills and also if uh if you're um and also you'll meet like-minded people there so well, these people could be the uh, the friends of life, friends for life, and uh, sometimes you could also meet your life partner there. So always have an open mind and uh, talk to people, network with as uh, much as you can, network with people as much as you can. And uh, I still remember one uh, day in uh, PhD, uh, Professor Dr. Rani, uh, she was like a mother to me, and uh, she always. Uh, uh, once I was not doing well at uh, in, in the internals, and she called me personally. Shankar, what was your issue? Uh, how we could help and uh, how we could make things easier for uh, 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 for you or how what? So such kind of personal caring is uh, will be there for you. So don't worry, guys. And uh, I'd like to point out a few other things uh, which uh, was which might have been, which might not have been there in the past, but it's there now uh, in the university. Uh, it's called uh, Step. Uh, Step is something uh, which helps you start a company or incubate it's like an incubator you have some idea business idea that you think that will have a huge business potential you approach step it's a uh, it's a it's kind of an office and uh, you propose your idea to them and say uh, and they will there are scientists professors there and they will see what is the feasibility of this idea and they will see okay uh, this has good potential and uh, we will start we will provide the funding and the government is in, of india is also in uh, is, is also providing funding for this kind of uh, projects so approach them and uh, they will help you with that and uh, and also um uh, you have uh, uh like uh 
the study abroad program and also internship abroad program. So, uh, Professor Dr. Vengdach, uh, Professor Vengdachalam from AC department, he is going to uh, be the person to contact if you want to study uh, abroad. Like, for example, if you want to spend a semester in the uh, in Australia or in the UK or US, uh, you have to approach him and he would give you uh, the, uh, the how to apply for the universities or uh, if you are going to apply for an internship uh, in other countries. So, uh, the professor is going to give you uh, the best help, uh, what is in their hands to uh, get into an in, uh, internship in abroad. So, um, and apart from that, um, always uh, stay, uh, uh, stay away from your comfort zone because staying in your comfort zone makes you uh, lose, uh, uh, make you lazy or keep you away from your uh, the happenings from the world. So, please uh, try to stay away from your comfort zone and uh, learn as keep learning. So learning is something that uh, keeps us updated from the skills that is needed for the everyday world. And as you, as you could see, uh, the Corona pandemic has um, showed us that the comfort zone is not what we are looking for. So everyone has gone, is going through a huge change now. Like the, the in automotive industries has go, is going a huge change, is going through a huge change now. And, uh, and the medical professions, they are also facing a huge challenge, like every people. So learn from this and we have to find a way how we could make life easier for us. And always staying away from comfort zone gives an experience for us to do that. And um, so apart from that, uh, most of the topics which I want to talk, it, it's been covered by the speakers who spoke uh, before me. And uh, I'd like to conclude that uh, so treat everyone the way you'd like to be treated and uh, also uh, treat everyone as a global citizen so thank you very much and all the way, all the way, very best guys and uh, i wish you all the best yeah. danke schön herr shankar kanna tyagarajo thank you for sharing your sure. memories which will certainly boost up the energy of our youngsters thank you again thank you now I call our Students' Union Chairman, Mr. C. Arun, final year, Ethnology to address. A pleasant greetings to every young and my present here. I Arun, C. final year, Metallurgical Engineering. Student Union for Academic Year 2022-2021. And I take immense pleasure in introducing my fellow officer, Mr. Vijay Ram, co-chairman from Final Year B Mechanical Engineering Sandwich, and Mr. Karthik, Secretary Men from Pre-Final Year Civil Engineering, Ms. Ashika, Secretary Woman from Pre-Final Year Biomedical Engineering, and Ms. Kanagadurga, Secretary Science from MSc Fashion Design and Merchandise. Briefing about Students' Union, it is a platform which exclusively works for students' welfare and benefit. We have 39 associations and 20 clubs affiliated to the College of Technology. We have two active service organizations, National Cadet Corps and National Service Games, each having five wings under its majestic banner. We have two biggest events conducted every year under Students' Union. Entrance is intra-college cultural fest held annually in tech campus during hot semester. It has been a headhunter to spot many talents other than engineering in tech campus. Next great event is CREA, Global Class of Techno Talents. It aims to give the skilled and aspiring students bring their a game to the floor in technical aspects. Upon this, we celebrate Independence Day, Republic Day, and Teachers Day. And also, we provide a platform for students to put grievances and queries in general council meeting. It will get resolved into its dragging meeting also be conducted. This year we can expect effective and reachable students community. I wish we all use this online platform to improve our technical and non-technical abilities and ways. And we expect to practice every club association. This learning and access will be helpful for your placements as well. We have also provided opportunities for students to be office barriers of clubs and association and students union too. This will help us to develop our leadership's quality, managerial quality and organizational skills. 
make better use of all these resources friends and another greatest facility which our provide us is sports we have both indoor and outdoor games once we are out of pandemic capsules we can utilize these resources and if you guys need any help you can reach out us whenever you want knowledge is power information is liberating education is the premise of progress in every society in every family with that note i would like to show my gratitude to the management for providing this opportunity Thank you, Mr. Arun. Now is the time to express our gratitude to all our speakers. On behalf of our PSG College of Technology, I express my sincere thanks to our managing trustee, Thiru L. Gopalakrishnan, under whose tenure our institution has seen enormous growth and scaling heights. Thank you, sir. I thank our principal, Dr. K. Prakashan, a great professor. with a vision and who thinks about the development of psg 24 bar 7 for motivating and encouraging the young minds thank you sir my heartfelt thanks to our chief guest mr amar babu for gracing this occasion with his rich knowledge and experience in in his field thank you sir my sincere thanks to all our special invitees mr s sendil avadai krishna raj mr priya Vijay Rajendran, Mr. Ranga Prabhu Patasaradi, Mr. Pra Pradeep Subramanian, Mr. Arun Muthumani, and Mr. Shankar Kanna Tangaraju for sharing and guiding our fresh years to climb the ladder of success in this competitive global market. Thank you all. I thank your uh, our young and dynamic students union uh, chairman. uh mr c arun for showing his compassionate by rendering his help to the youngsters when needed i thank all uh, deans all hods all professors technical staff for making this program a grand success i extend my sincere thanks to all our beloved parents and loving students without whom this program wouldn't have happened i once again thank you all everything that has a beginning must have an end national anthem I, Dr. Suganti S. Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of English, PSG College of Te uh, Technology, is signing off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.